Good morning, and welcome to day 11 of the 21 Day Novel Challenge. We are in the home stretch. Uh, if I crank out my 5,000 words today and do the same tomorrow, I am done with the first draft. That will mean that I have cranked out an entire novel in just 12 days, uh, and I am definitely going to work hard to make sure I hit that goal. So today, I want to talk just a little bit about willpower because willpower is so critical to what I'm attempting to do here, and I'm really seeing the limits. Willpower is very much a finite resource. This is something that I talk about at length in Lifelong Writing Habit. There's a reason why advertisers put on infomercials at two in the morning, because they're hoping to catch the people that haven't gone to sleep yet. When you wake up in the morning, you are fresh and recharged, but every time you have to make a decision, Every time you have to exert willpower or use discipline, that pool kind of diminishes until you rest again. And this is why last night, after having written my 5,000 words and recording my video and doing all my work-related stuff and going for a hike and working out in the morning, by the time I got to the evening, I didn't have any willpower left. And even though I'm trying to lose weight, uh, I devoured uh, some potato chips and a Choco Taco. You know, I knew it wasn't a good decision at the time, but I was just so exhausted by that point that it didn't matter. This, more than any other reason, is why I think writing first thing is working so well for me during this challenge. And recording all this and being able to look back at it has been fascinating because it bears out what I've always believed. Anyway, that said, let's move on to the first screen cap portion of the video. I will show you kind of some of the plot tweaks that I did yesterday, and then we'll launch into the recap. Yesterday I worked on two specific plot tweaks, both of which will be very useful. One of them is sort of all-encompassing and is going to influence how I write Tigris character reactions throughout the whole book, and that's the Tigris politics file that I created down here. So a lot of thought went into this, even though it's just a couple of sentences long. But basically, the Tigris revere their scientist caste. So before that, they were a warrior caste and they weren't able to leave their world. Their scientists are the reason that they have all their neat guns and the reason why they have spaceships and the ability to get to space. So scientists are highly, highly respected. And since I have a Tigris scientist in the book, the way the other Tigris would treat that scientist needs to be different. I need to show people bowing to her and uh, treating her with deference and, you know, that, that sort of thing. So that was the first change that I worked on yesterday. The second one is paving the way for book two. I dropped in a chapter called Implanted, and, and this is huge spoilers, although at this point you guys are seeing enough of the plot that it's all spoilers. So Catherine is captured by Admiral Mendez. She's been following along with him obviously being a traitor of some sort and has gotten more and more of the plot. He's finally gotten wise to what she's doing. And so we get a scene where she gets implanted, just like the rest of the admirals that have turned against humanity and the same in the Tigris and the Primo races. This is how it's happening. And so we get to see what that looks like. And it's going to be a tough chapter to write. I think it'll be a little horrifying to the reader, but it's also going to show them a glimpse at who the Void Wraith really are, which I'm really hoping will propel them into book two. So this is a short chapter, but will be very, very important to the plot. Those are the two big changes I did yesterday. There were a few smaller ones, things like it occurs to me, I'm not really sure how an EVA suit works beyond what I've seen in movies. So before I finalize the chapter where they're using them, I need to research that and see what the science behind those is. So yeah, that, that was the work that I did yesterday. I will do more similar work tomorrow, and you'll get to see that as we're writing the last few chapters of the book. And then it's uh, on to the editing phase. Before we go further, I wanted to show you a little bit of the intense research that I do. Uh, writing is very serious, very disciplined business, as you will see in the next clip. Mighty Fizz Gig, we've taken a direct hit. Shunt all power to the rear deflectors. Fire the main guns. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, time for the recap portion of the video. So today was a pretty good day. I didn't quite hit as many words as I'd like to. I got about 4,200 words. I decided to stop even though it's only 9.57 a.m. because I've reached a point in the battle, so I only have uh, six chapters left to write, all of which are short. 
and I have a couple of questions in my own head about how that should proceed. So I'm taking a step back to figure out exactly how I want to approach the critical ending of the book. And then tomorrow I can crank out those six chapters. So all told, those six chapters will probably be four to 5,000 words. If they're a little longer, I'll finish anyway. But yeah, today was a great day. I'm going to go ahead and show you the screen cap so you can see what I got done. This looks beautiful. So we are at 54,200 words out of the projected 60,000. I should be able to get pretty close to 60,000 by tomorrow. And as you can see, there's only one hour and change left until project completion. So tomorrow's the day. We will have reached this in 12 days, which feels phenomenal. I am super excited about writing the ending of this book. And the deeper into this that I get, the, the more happy I am about how the plot is and what I think I can make this into. I am more confident than ever that I think people are really going to enjoy this book once it's polished. Anyway, a look at today's stats. I'm still hovering a little over 3,600 words per hour. We're deep enough now that that can't really change much just because most of the words are written, but I'm very, very happy with where that's at. Uh, I did quite a few short sprints today, and you'll see the same thing happen tomorrow. There's this one that was 1,100 words, but the rest of them are, are pretty short, and that's because the chapters are short, and I'm cutting it at the end of every chapter. Uh, just a quick look at the chapters that I did today. So the first one was Allies, VI Removal, Engage, VI Replacement, More Allies, and finally, Primo Online. That was the last chapter that I wrote. So as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six chapters left to go. All of that's gonna happen tomorrow. So yeah, I guess it is on to day 12.